Okay, so hi there everyone. We're now on this next video in the mathematics in a modern world. We're now in module one, which is the nature of mathematics. So um, before this, we have two videos um, which uh, shows and illustrates the Fibonacci numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. And the second one is the illustration of the golden ratio of how it can be derived from the continuous sequence of um, the Fibonacci um, numbers. So we, we got to answer now, who is this Fibonacci thing um, that we are talking about? Um, this is actually Fibonacci. So he's not, he's not a thing. He, he is a person. So this is Fibonacci. Okay, he, this is his statue here. So who is this Fibonacci guy? So Fibonacci is just a, one of his name. He was popularized using that name, but actually his name is Leonardo of Pisa or Leonardo Pisano. Okay, in short for Fibonacci. So which means, you know, Filius Bonacci in Latin, son of Bonacci. So, you know, um, in English. So, um, you know that, uh, for instance, um, they want to, they want, they, they tend to um, get to, you know, um, introduce themselves using the names of their father. So Fibonacci is the son of Bonacci. So when you say, um, when you are, for example, MacNemar, you are the son of Nemar, MacNemar. McDonald's is the son of Donald. And um, what else? Um, and things like that. Okay. Um, things like that. Um, Fibonacci is one sort um, in Latin. Okay. So we use that as um, to, to um, let him know let everyone know that he's the son of Bonacci. So his name is Leonardo of Pisa because he's, he came from this place, Pisa. So he observed numbers in nature. So the most popular is the Fibonacci numbers, which is um, from his name. And of course, um, these Fibonacci numbers are numbers taken from the sequence, also of his name. That is the Fibonacci sequence. So these numbers are from our nature's numbering system. Okay, as we have um, well saw, well seen in the first in the first video, they appear everywhere in nature from leaf arrangement, which is actually the 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 one that we use. Actually, it's it's flowers from the petals of the flowers, um, the pattern of the florets of a flower, pine cones, or the scales of a pineapple. The Fibonacci numbers, okay, are therefore applicable to the growth of every living thing, including a single cell, a grain of wheat. A hive of le of bees rather. So um, this will be a very short video. That is the Fibonacci numbers. We're going to go go and beyond the works of uh, of Fibonacci. You know Leonardo. Um, we're going to talk about his work, the Liber Abacai, which is the the, the book which um made him, made him very much very much um renowned. Okay, that Liber Abacai is one of the books that uh, has a strong influence on the Western mathematics and the mathematics we're using right now. Okay, Libra Abakai introduced the Hindu-Arabic numerals in the Western world. Without that book by Fibonacci, uh, maybe we'd, we'd still be using the Roman numerals, which is, which will be very terrible, my goodness. Okay, so um, we're going to get to that book and we're going to um, understand how Fibonacci first illustrated the Fibonacci sequence. So that's it for this video. Hope you would um, uh, like it and hope you learned something from this. So see you in the next. Okay, thank you very much.